Tara Westover, Educated. Discover the incredible journey of Tara Westover in the book Educated, as she overcomes the challenges of her unconventional childhood. Born in rural Idaho, Tara never attended school nor visited a hospital due to her family's religious and political beliefs. In this inspiring tale, you'll explore Tara's unyielding pursuit of knowledge and her struggles with her family's values. You'll follow her transformation from a young girl with no formal education to a highly educated woman who defies the odds, to break free from her roots, venturing into the academic world and beyond. A Hidden Life in Rural Idaho Tara Westover's childhood was spent on a secluded family farm in Idaho, where she was one of seven siblings leading an unconventional life. Due to her family's beliefs, she skipped out on traditional schooling and medical care, instead learning valuable lessons about nature and survival from her surroundings and family. Her father Jean's deep religious convictions and political beliefs shaped Tara's upbringing, advocating for self-reliance and a woman's role in the home. The choice to stay with her family when offered the opportunity to break free and pursue education created a fork in Tara's path, making her journey even more extraordinary. In a lush, rural corner of Idaho, young Tara Westover spent her days joyfully exploring her family's farm. The wind caressing her hair seemed to sing a song of unity, connecting her to the towering conifers and the wild wheat that covered the hills. Tara, the youngest of seven children, would soon come to realize her upbringing was far from typical. A key aspect setting Tara's family apart was their aversion to formal institutions. Tara and her siblings never attended school, and she never visited a hospital or doctor's office. Born at home, she lacked a birth certificate, making her non-existent in the eyes of the state of Idaho. Despite her lack of formal education, Tara's childhood taught her invaluable lessons about survival and resourcefulness. She excelled at tasks like preserving ripe peaches in summer and managing supplies in winter. Her father Jean, a staunch supporter of homeschooling, instilled in Tara a deep appreciation for the natural world, particularly Buck's Peak, a nearby mountain. Tara's grandmother, however, disagreed with Jean's education strategy and thought her grandchildren would be better off in school. Jean viewed public schools as tools for the government to manipulate children and enforce conformity. One day, Tara's grandmother made a bold offer, Tara could join her on a trip to Arizona and attend school there. That night, Tara agonized over the decision, eventually choosing to remain with her family when the moment of departure arrived. Jean was a deeply religious man, committed to raising his family in the Mormon faith. His beliefs extended to his view of a woman's role, maintaining that women should stay home and care for their families. Tara's mother, Faye, embraced these ideals, balancing her devotion to marriage and motherhood with her unlicensed work as a midwife in their community. Tara's extraordinary childhood faced her with life-altering decisions and ingrained in her a unique perspective on life, shaping the woman she would become. Unconventional Path to Education Tara's early education was non-existent due to her family's neglect. Instead, she and her siblings were responsible for teaching themselves. As Tara watched her brother Tyler choose to go to college, she became more curious about higher education. Finally, she began reading religious texts, further fueling the idea of schooling. Growing up, Tara's experience with learning was far from typical. At the age of four, her older brother Tony taught her how to read. Her mother managed to teach the children some math and history in their early years. However, by the time Tara turned eight, formal education within their household was non-existent. Left to their own devices, Tara and her siblings faced the challenge of self-education. They relied on whatever resources they had at hand, learning only from what they taught themselves. Occasionally, their mother Faye would take them to the local library, where they could peruse books at their leisure. It was Tyler, the family's third son, who demonstrated a real dedication to learning. When he declared his intention to attend college, Tara, ten years old at that time, began to consider the idea of formal education for herself. Jean, their father, was not pleased with Tyler's decision. 
He needed all the help he could get to keep the family farm running, especially as two older sons had already left. With Tyler gone, the responsibility fell on Tara, her sister Audrey, and brothers Richard and Luke. Moreover, Jean firmly believed that college would not teach any practical skills necessary for adult life. He dismissed academic pursuits as useless activities and feared that higher education would brainwash his children. Despite his paranoia and disapproval, Tyler went on to attend college, ultimately inspiring Tara to explore the world of higher learning on her own. Feeling curious and determined, Tara delved into a more focused self-study routine. She began reading religious texts like the Book of Mormon and the New Testament, writing essays on themes such as faith and sacrifice. From this point, the prospect of attending school remained a constant presence in her mind, shaping her future in ways she could never have imagined while growing up in a world devoid of formal education. Embracing Independence and Lessons As Tara turns eleven, her family shifts focus from farming to their junkyard business, leading her to seek independence through babysitting and exploring her talents. Despite her father's disapproval of dancing, she discovers a passion for singing and acts in a local play. Meanwhile, her father's apocalyptic beliefs about the Y2K bug create tension within the family. Growing up, Tara and her family faced significant changes, particularly when many of her siblings left home. This shift led her father, Jean, to transition the family business from farming to operating a junkyard, where young Tara found herself helping with scrapping cars for parts. At eleven, she was determined to become independent and sought out a job of her own. Tara ventured to the local post office and advertised her babysitting services, soon after finding herself swamped with requests and running her own small business. However, for Tara, babysitting wasn't purely about money. It became her gateway to the world outside her insulated family life. Through her work, Tara was introduced to dance and voice lessons, allowing her to explore her creativity and talents. This began when Mary, a mother she babysat for, invited her to join a dance class above the Papa J gas station. Despite her father's disapproval of dancing, citing its immodesty, Tara continued developing her skills. The dance lessons opened the door to another creative outlet, voice lessons. Soon, she was stunning churchgoers with her remarkable singing abilities and even landed a role in a play performed at the local Worm Creek Opera House. Tara's family, including her father Jean, attended and watched her proudly from the front row. However, the conclusion of the play also marked the end of Tara's brief escape from her family's reality. Her father's apocalyptic fears about the turn of the century, known as the Y2K bug, gripped the family as the year 2000 approached. Convinced the world was on the edge of the days of abomination, Jean stockpiled food and weapons in a bunker he dug out in a nearby field. While this tension loomed over the family, the world continued, and the anticipated catastrophe never came to pass, leaving Tara and her family to navigate their ever-changing lives. Resilience Amidst Family Chaos The arrival of the year 2000 leaves Jean's faith shaken, leading to a family trip to Arizona. However, two significant car crashes punctuate their journey, neither of which end with medical care, as the family trusts solely in spiritual healing and herbal remedies. Meanwhile, Tara repeatedly endures violent outbursts from her brother Sean but receives no help from her parents, ultimately convincing herself that she is emotionally invulnerable. Jean's faith was badly shaken when the year 2000 arrived without any world-ending events. Hoping to uplift his spirits, the family visited their grandmother in Arizona. After spending some time in the sun, they began their return trip, only to encounter severe weather that led to their van spinning off the road and crashing into a field. Despite the lack of seatbelts, everyone managed to survive, though Tara briefly lost consciousness. Although Tara couldn't recall how help arrived and how she eventually made her way home, it was certain that her unyielding family refused any medical or hospital assistance. Following the accident, Tara struggled with persistent pain and her neck locking up, but her family only turned to spiritual healing and medicinal herbs for a cure. This was not an isolated incident, however, as the family had previously experienced a similar crash without seeking any medical attention. 
In addition to these physical dangers, Tara also faced emotional and physical abuse from her violent brother, Sean. Her parents dismissed his terrifying outbursts as insignificant, leaving Tara to develop a false sense of emotional invulnerability. By her mid-teens, Tara discovered makeup and struck up a friendship with a boy named Charles at the local theater. One night, Sean violently dragged her from her room, accusing her of behaving promiscuously, which marked just one of many attacks from her brother. Regardless of these incidents, nothing ever changed, forcing Tara to rely only on herself and her perceived emotional resilience amidst the chaos surrounding her. Pursuing Higher Education At the age of 16, Tara struggled to envision how college could be integrated into the life path designed for her, getting married at 18 or 19, having children, and learning herbal healing in midwifery. However, her brother Tyler persistently encouraged her to think about attending college. He shared that homeschooled students were often accepted at Brigham Young University, BYU, and all she had to do was excel on the ACT test. Tara's mathematical knowledge was limited, but with her mother's guidance in learning algebra and subsequent practice, she slowly but surely improved. Although her first ACT attempt was met with a subpar score, she continued her studies and ultimately achieved a 28 on her second try, a score more than sufficient for BYU's admissions criteria. Contrary to Tyler's and her mother's ongoing support, Tara's father vehemently opposed her decision to attend college, claiming divine displeasure. Despite this, her mother Faye drove Tara to BYU three days before her 17th birthday, ushering in a new and transformative chapter in her life. Unfamiliar Grounds when Tara moved to Provo, Utah for college, she faced unexpected shocks and cultural differences from her home life, amplifying her feeling of detachment from the world. She struggled academically in her first-year classes, particularly in the subject of Western civilization, but her determination to learn led her to improve by the end of the semester. Upon arriving at her new apartment in Provo, Tara had packed minimally, bringing only a few belongings. Her first encounter with her roommate, Shannon, left her feeling overwhelmed, her attire was far from what Tara had been exposed to, which sent her reeling back to her room for solace. Her other roommate, Mary, initially seemed less shocking but quickly proved otherwise when she went shopping on the Sabbath. Witnessing this apparent disregard for the Lord's commandments left Tara once again seeking refuge in her room. As she adjusted to life in Provo, Tara faced the realization of a significant divide between herself and the larger world. The city's constant noise was a sharp contrast to her rural upbringing, and she even found herself on the wrong bus on her first attempt to get to school. Navigating the academic world proved no easy feat either. Enrolled in a range of introductory courses, Tara felt overwhelmed by unfamiliar terminology that left her feeling lost in a sea of new information. Western civilization proved the most challenging, culminating in an uncomfortable moment when she unknowingly revealed her lack of knowledge about the Holocaust to her classmates and teacher. Despite initial struggles, Tara refused to let these setbacks hold her back. By semester's end, she had forged forward and nearly achieved straight as, with Western civilization being the only exception. Through determination and persistence, Tara demonstrated her commitment to overcoming adversity and embracing new experiences. Overcoming Fear and Stubbornness During her semester break, Tara faced a severe earache and learned that accepting help can often lessen troubles. Initially resistant to pharmaceuticals due to her upbringing, Tara eventually took ibuprofen as recommended by an old friend and experienced relief. Yet, her distrust for medicine lingered, and it took her roommate's persistence to get her to a clinic after a sore throat persisted. Tara's experience with the doctor made her question her earlier fears. Simultaneously, struggles with college expenses led her to accept financial assistance from her local church. This journey of learning to trust others and embrace support transformed Tara's perspective on accepting help. During Tara's semester break at home, she found herself working in the family junkyard and eventually awoke to a sharp earache. Recalling her parents' aversion to medicine, Tara resisted her friend Charles's advice to take ibuprofen until finally succumbing to the pain. To her surprise, the medicine worked, and the pain vanished within 20 minutes. 
However, her reluctance towards professional medical help remained. When a severe sore throat struck Tara, it took her roommate's constant urging and eventual intervention to get her to a clinic. As Tara discovered how doctors work, she became curious and began questioning her long-held fears. At the same time, college expenses piled up, and despite juggling multiple jobs, Tara found herself in dire straits. She faced a critical dental issue that required immediate attention but could not afford it. Her involvement with the local church brought her plight to the bishop's notice, who kindly offered financial help. Initially hesitant to accept assistance, especially from the government, Tara let the bishop's persuasion guide her onto the right path. Through these experiences, Tara gradually broke free from her aversion to help and slowly started to open up to new possibilities. In doing so, she continued to transform her perspective on life and the people around her. Unraveling the brainwashing Tara, at 19, was finally able to live independently without financial strains and focus on her education. A psychology course introduced her to the term bipolar disorder, and she was struck by how the symptoms perfectly matched her father's erratic behavior. This revelation led her to understand the extent of the brainwashing her family had experienced under his influence. As Tara grappled with her anger, news arrived that her father had suffered a life-threatening accident, teaching her about the fragility of life. Having gained the independence to focus on her education, Tara began understanding the distorted nature of her father's teachings. In a Psychology 101 course, she discovered the concept of bipolar disorder. As symptoms such as depression, paranoia, mania, and delusions were unveiled, she found them resonating with her father's behavior. Tara realized the extent to which her father's actions stemmed from his mental health struggles. Jean, her father, had exhibited paranoia about the government and the healthcare system, reaching a peak around Y2K. Aware of how her family was heavily influenced by Jean's delusions, Tara felt a surge of anger, as they had lived in an unwarranted state of fear due to his behavior. Life, however, is full of surprises and ironies. A startling phone call brought news of Jean's near-fatal accident. He was severely injured from an exploding gas tank, but refused medical attention, believing he was close to death. Tara rushed home, torn by conflicting emotions, and was confronted by her father's fragile state, with severe burns covering his body. Against all odds, Jean survived through the night, and Tara's newfound understanding of her father's condition allowed her to see the situation in a different light. From homeschool to Cambridge scholar Initially planning to study music in college, Tara found herself drawn to history and politics. With encouragement from a professor, she applied for a study abroad program at the University of Cambridge's King's College. Under the guidance of the esteemed Holocaust expert Professor Jonathan Steinberg, Tara excelled both academically and in her writing. As a result, she received a glowing recommendation from Steinberg, which helped her secure a Gates Cambridge scholarship for graduate studies at Trinity College. Tara had always envisioned herself pursuing a college degree in music. However, as each semester passed, she found herself increasingly captivated by history and politics, eagerly enrolling in related courses. Observing her enthusiasm and motivation, one of her professors recommended she explore Cambridge University's study abroad offerings, particularly at King's College. Soon, Tara was swept off to the historic and prestigious halls of King's College, feeling both enchanted by her surroundings and overwhelmed by the academic pace. Assigned to work under Professor Jonathan Steinberg, a renowned Holocaust expert, Tara embraced his meticulous guidance and high standards for written work. As Steinberg so aptly put it, poor words form poor ideas. As the program progressed, Tara anticipated a critical evaluation of her final essay submission. To her delight, she received high praise from Professor Steinberg, who even ranked her essay amongst the best he'd seen in his three-decade tenure. He promised to support her in earning admission to any graduate program she desired. True to his word, Professor Steinberg facilitated Tara's entrance into Cambridge University's Trinity College for graduate studies, following her completion of her undergraduate degree from BYU, Tara's success in securing the Gates Cambridge Scholarship, which included full tuition and research funding, marked a significant achievement. 
She was only the third student from BYU to receive this prestigious honor, attracting the attention of media outlets back in her home state of Idaho. From her humble beginnings as a homeschooled girl in Idaho to being an acclaimed Cambridge scholar, Tara's journey is nothing short of remarkable. Tara's Unraveling Journey Stepping onto the beautiful and ancient campus of Trinity College as a graduate student, Tara finally sensed a true feeling of belonging. While developing her social skills and making friends, she began breaking away from her strict upbringing by experiencing things typically forbidden, like drinking coffee and wine. During a trip to Rome, she opened up to her friends about her family's bizarre life and background for the first time. Back in Idaho, Tara's sister Audrey sought Tara's support to confront their family about their abusive brother, Sean, as the family usually remained silent to troubling events. Concurrently, the family's medicinal oil business was thriving, and while an offer to buy it out was presented, their father, Jean, refused to accept the deal. Unraveling a Restrained Worldview Tara thrived in her research at Trinity College, encountering feminism and an alternate perspective towards her upbringing. While her studies earned her a spot at Cambridge, tensions with her brother Sean and unresponsive parents persisted. Tara's pursuit of knowledge continued to clash with her family's determination to protect their traditional values. Tara's research efforts at Trinity College prospered, as she delved into the realm of feminism, a concept previously unknown to her. She had grown up believing that men were the natural leaders and women's roles were limited to raising children and managing the household. However, this new wealth of knowledge offered her a fresh vocabulary to describe the discontent she had harbored since childhood about traditional gender roles. In addition, Tara began examining Mormonism, distancing herself from its religious aspects to analyze it as an intellectual movement. This approach felt daring and exhilarating. Her education earned recognition, as she secured a spot at Cambridge for her PhD studies. Despite these academic successes, her family life in Idaho remained turbulent. Sean threatened Tara and their sister Audrey, while their parents stood idly, refusing to intervene. Sean declared Audrey to be a liar, even threatening to kill her. When Tara sought her father Jean's support, he demanded proof. A tense sit-down between Tara, Sean, and their parents yielded no real resolution, as Sean overtly threatened her. A superficial peace was reached, but it faltered when Tara returned to Cambridge, and Sean resumed his threats. Tara's parents continued to prioritize their son's reputation over protecting their daughters, insisting that Tara should drop her accusations to maintain family harmony. As Tara pursued the world beyond her sheltered upbringing, the family values she was raised with appeared increasingly unyielding. A choice between realities. As Tara receives a Harvard fellowship, her parents make a final effort to control her through religious manipulation. Faced with accepting their false reality or losing her family, Tara chooses to embrace her newfound independence and knowledge, eventually earning her PhD despite a temporary breakdown. Tara's Harvard University fellowship was a dream come true, but her joy was short-lived as her parents decided to visit her against her will. They sought to exert control over their daughter one final time, forcing Tara to confront their skewed reality or risk losing her family. Her father went so far as to claim that Tara had been possessed by Lucifer and needed a priesthood blessing, a healing ritual in Mormonism performed by select few individuals. Accepting this blessing would mean buying into her parents' beliefs, including the notion that her abusive brother Sean was healed and she should forget his past actions. Rejection of the blessing, they said, would confirm that Tara was under demonic influence. Adding pressure, Tara's parents stated that her sister Audrey had been healed through the same blessing. The choice was clear, accept her family's twisted reality and their control, or embrace the newfound independence and education she had achieved. Realizing that falling back into her father's web of paranoia and delusion would be a betrayal of her personal growth, Tara made a difficult, yet critical, decision. She rejected her parents' demands and chose the path of continued education and autonomy. The consequences were harsh. Tara suffered a mental breakdown, losing the will to study or do anything else for months. It nearly cost her the PhD she had worked so tirelessly for. 
As her self-imposed thesis deadline of her 27th birthday approached, she found the strength to rally and finish her work. With her thesis completed and degree earned, Dr. Tara Westover had paid the high price of losing contact with her parents. However, the choice she had made ultimately allowed her to maintain relationships with three of her brothers, her aunt and uncle. Despite the emotional toll, Tara stood proud of her accomplishments and the person she had become, a testament to the power of perseverance and self-discovery. Annie Educated We witnessed Tara Westover's journey from an isolated childhood to pursuing higher education and achieving her academic goals. Throughout her life, Tara defies her family's extreme beliefs, eventually attending Brigham Young University, Cambridge University, and even Harvard University. The book demonstrates the power of determination and the will to pursue education as a means to better oneself. Ultimately, Tara's story teaches us the importance of staying true to ourselves, breaking free from toxic environments, and challenging the status quo in order to grow and evolve. By doing so, she not only improves her own life, but also proves that when given the chance, anyone can overcome even the most challenging of circumstances.